the floor. So you'll notice you start in a little bit of a hamstring stretch because your knees are bent and your hip is flexed, almost like you're sitting in a chair. So you're gonna to wanna to start with as little of that as possible. Let those legs go away from you further than they would in a normal bridge. And then if it's your left hamstring that feels like it's got a little tweak or a strain or a pull in it, you're gonna to start to slide that left heel just an inch or two forward and back forward and back. So you might have to put a sock on or put a washcloth underneath that heel. Or if you're on carpet, maybe a piece of slippery paper. But once you have some slip underneath your heel, just bring your spine to neutral and notice how far can you engage the hamstring before you kind of switch over to just using your glute and then bring it back. Because there are different ranges as you move through this sliding. The important thing is that you're vigorously pushing the heel down as you slide away and as you slide the heel back in. And you'll feel it when you are engaging and bringing some good blood flow to these three hamstring muscles. Now I'd also encourage you to do the other leg, even if it's not been bothering you, just to keep it really strong and also just to feel what this is like in a leg that's not experiencing any strain at all in the hamstring muscles. So you're gonna slide that heel out. And again, I'm vigorously pushing down. You can't really see how strongly I'm pushing down. I'm exfoliating the back of my heel, essentially on this floor to demonstrate this. So that's option one. Now option two, you can also elevate the hips, which helps get you out of any hamstring stretch at all up here. And then again, make sure that heel can slide a little bit. Vigorously push that heel down as you slide it forward and also back. And you're gonna wanna look straight up at the ceiling once you know what you're doing here so your neck is neutral as you slide that heel out and back in. And again, try that on both sides because this is good strengthening, even for the strain side, just to hold you in a bridge is some great strengthening. Now, if your low back or your knees don't like the bridge position, you can also, watch out, because getting this band on like this is a little bit of a hamstring stretch, so don't don't uh, emphasize that move, do as little of it as possible. You're gonna use a stretchy band for this. So you get a little bit of support as you bridge up, you get to push out into a stretchy band. It's not as much support as you would with a non-stretchy strap, but a little bit. And then you've also got a little resistance as you slide that leg away, you have to push into that stretchy band and push your knees apart. And then you can alternate stretching out uh, rather strengthening both um, hamstring sets left and right and stretching out the front of the hip a little bit, those hip flexors as that leg slides out. Now notice you do not have to fully straighten the leg. Go just an inch at first. Get some good pressure and breath. So once you've watched this video once, make sure you tap into the breath as you move. The exhale will help you slide it away. The inhale helps you slide it back in. The exhale can be through the nose or the mouth. The inhale should be through the nose. And release. To release any tension that builds up in your lower back, you may want to gently windshield wiper the knees. Letting your navel go in the same direction as your knees. And finally, one other way to strengthen through the hamstrings is to push the heels down with the legs in the straighter position. So for this one, you don't actually need any band or strap at all, but you need something you can push your heels into. So a yoga block will do, 
or even a thick book. You don't actually have to lift your hips at all. You're just pushing down with your heels, engaging your deep core, bending your knees a tiny bit so you feel that isometric engagement of your hamstrings. And then release. Mm -hmm. Again, I exaggerated and lifted my hips so you could see what I was doing, but what's important is actually the action, not the end position. 